imagination. This is Mike with Suitables here with the instructional build video for the NASA Space Shuttle Discovery. Here's what it looks like complete. Now let's get building. All right, so to begin building your space shuttle kit, go ahead and remove all the kit pieces from the box and lay them out onto a table. You can also lay them out on the floor or any other flat, clean surface. And in pre-assembly, what we wanna do is we wanna go around to all the kit pieces and just punch out all these little cardboard slot scraps and chads on all the kit pieces. Make sure your kids help you with this one. This is an easy step. You can also use a larger piece like I'm doing here to assist in punching out all these little slot scraps here. So once you've done that, we're gonna unfold the main body structure and we're gonna start pre-folding on the main body on all the score lines to kind of break in the score lines. Put a fair amount of pressure on those tabs up there up front. All right, just go around to all those score line tabs and flaps, the main body structure there. Make sure you break in this panel. Really put a lot of pressure on that panel right there. Break in all those body panels. Break those flaps in at the rear there. All right, put a fair amount of pressure on this flap here. Get that little tab, put a fair amount of pressure on that flap. Put a lot of pressure on this panel right here with those two tabs there, a lot of pressure there. And put a fair amount of pressure on this long flap here and especially uh, around the slots. Next, we're gonna move on to step one, installing the sound module. So we're gonna grab our sound module, our little cardboard enclosure piece. We're gonna pre-fold on the score lines on this piece and we're gonna backfold those little wing pieces right there on the outside. We're gonna remove the twin stick pad covers we're gonna grab our sound module and we're gonna flip it to the on position, test it, make sure it's working properly. And then we're gonna align the on off switch at the back to the slot on the in the groove on the uh, cardboard piece there. Center it over the cardboard piece, stick it on, stick the sides on, and then we're gonna remove the twin stick pad covers from those outer wing flaps. And we're gonna fold and hold those back. And then we're gonna align the button on the sound module to the buttonhole and then the speaker to the speaker hole. And then drop the button into the buttonhole, release the flaps and firmly press them on. Really press them on hard. And that installs the sound module into your shuttle kit. And let's move on to step two. You can take the uh, firewall piece here and pre-fold on all the score lines, all those flaps there. And then we're gonna situate it over the body right here at the front, just behind the sound module, just like this right along that score line. And we're gonna fold up that control panel and we're gonna be inserting tabs 2A and B into their respective slots on that front firewall panel. I'm gonna reach around to the uh, backside and pull on those tabs and really lock them into place and engage them. You can really see the orientation here. All right, now we're gonna fold the body structure over the top of that firewall and then make sure it's snug all the way around the side. And then we're gonna fold that next panel down and we're gonna insert tabs 3A and 3B into their respective slots on that firewall panel. And again, you can reach around to the backside on the inside there and you can pull on those tabs to lock them into place. Next, we're gonna move on to step four. This is the uh, rear firewall panel, the thruster firewall panel. We're gonna pre-fold all the flaps and all the score lines. And once you've done that, we're then going to backfold all of these flaps against the natural fold direction here. So go ahead and break them in and back fold them this way. And we're gonna leave them in this orientation for installation. Now we're gonna slide the firewall piece in at the rear with the thruster graphics facing outward. And then we're gonna line up these flaps right here all the way around on that first score line at the rear. Next, we're gonna move on to installing the body structure panel 5B and 6B. Go ahead and insert tab 5B into its slot, really raise up that body. You gotta help it lift it up and get it on there. And then you're gonna do 6B. There is an A side and a B side to the shuttle. We're working on the B side now. Lock those tabs in to complete the body. Now we're gonna flip it right side up. And what we wanna do is again, line up that firewall piece so that the side and top flaps are all lined up against that last score line or that first score line, I should say. And then we're gonna fold 
the bottom panel first with the Suitables logo on it over, and we're gonna lock in those two tabs. And we're gonna do this for all these flaps. Really fold those over and lock them in. Now what you wanna do here is push back on the firewall and tap on it firmly from the inside, like I'm doing here, to really engage those tabs. You, every time you install one of these, you really wanna push back on the firewall and tap on it a lot around the edges where those tabs are to really engage those tabs to make sure that they all lock in, okay? If any of them pop out like this one just did, just reach in and push back on the firewall as you hold those tabs down. Make sure they engage the slots. Okay, now we're gonna move on to uh, steps eight, nine, and 10. And we're gonna go ahead and just insert tab 8A into slot 8A, 9A, and then 10. Once those are all started into their slots, go ahead and push them in little by little until they're all locked into place. Just be patient, work them in a little at a time until they're all locked in. Then we're gonna flip it around and go to the other side. We're gonna do the same thing in steps 11, 12, and 13. Just get uh, those tabs started into their slots, starting with 11, 12, and then 13, and just push them in until they lock into place. Nice and easy. All right, now we're gonna go on to a second step 13, which is installing the hook Velcro strips. This is a typo, it technically should be step 14, but we're a startup company, so these things happen. And we're gonna remove the paper backing and install these just like you see here at the front. I like to use this white waxy paper uh, backing to push and rub on the Velcro because uh, it slides really nice on there. You wanna brace from the inside through the nose on the firewall piece as you push so that you can apply a lot of pressure and firmly apply the Velcro strips here. You can see how I'm doing that there, pushing from both sides, okay? I like to connect the control panel to the firewall panel as well. It keeps it nice and sturdy. Next, we're gonna move on to the rear and uh, we're gonna install the last two Velcro strips right here on the right and left side of those arrows. They're calling it out. And just, again, you can use your white backing paper to push down and really rub firmly on the Velcro strips. Make sure they're applied well. Now we're gonna install the loop Velcro straps. And to do this, we want to install them in a cross or an X pattern and from one side to the other. And we want to make sure that they're even on both sides so that the shuttle will sit level on your child. Now, you can adjust the height the space shuttle will sit on your child just by taking up or letting out slack on the straps themselves. Now, when you wear it, the X or the cross in the back there sits on your child's back and the open area sits on your child's chest. Now we can close off the nose in step 15. Just push that friction tab into place and you're good to go. Now we're gonna move on to step 16. This is the thruster piece. We're gonna break in all the score lines like you see here on the thruster piece and prepare it for installation. And what we wanna do is reach in and we're gonna remove the four twin stick pad covers on the inside of that rear thruster firewall piece to prepare for installation here. Fold it back down there. And now we're gonna be inserting tabs 16, 16A, B, and C into their respective slots. So start with uh, tab 16. And just work them into place gently. Now while you do this, you really wanna push back on the firewall because again, you don't want that firewall to sink into the body or else those flaps at the rear will come undone. So. Tuck in that little flap there on the thruster on the inside, that last little flap there. And then once all those tabs are inserted and flush, go ahead and pull them and fold them and lock them down on the twin sticks nice and secure. Now we can move on to the rear of the thruster and we can fold the actual nozzle pieces back in. You want to uh, center and align those little tabs on their respective slots. And you got to you might have to kind of twist them back and forth a little bit and kind of push them to align them. Once they're aligned, you, you, know, you can kind of lock them all into place and you're good to go. Now we're going to move on to the thruster pods. And we're going to prepare these by pre-folding on all the score lines. And what we want to do is really put a lot of pressure on these little 17 tabs that you see. There are four of them on each thruster pod that are labeled 17, here's one here, really push down hard and really break those in well. It's gonna be critical for installation. 
backfold on all the perforated scores on the thruster itself and really break those in. Don't be shy about how much you fold those. Then we're gonna remove the twin stick pad covers from the four twin sticks. And we're gonna start folding the shape of this thing and just align those two edges on the 17 flap with the, uh, with the thruster itself. Align those two edges here on this side as well. And you're gonna press them on firmly to the twin sticks. Okay, you can see what that looks like. I'm gonna do the same thing in the rear here. Align those two edges so that they're flush to each other and then press it on firmly. And do the same thing on the final one here. All right, so that completes the, th the uh, pod. And now we're gonna install the pod. So we're gonna be installing tabs 18A and 19A. And you wanna fold the locking spade tabs on tab 18A in, shove it into the slot, Fold the thruster in, okay? Keep that held down because it's gonna rest on top of the body structure and then you're gonna insert tab 19A into its slot. And then you're gonna flip the body up and you're gonna look at those locking spade tabs on the inside and just unfold those so that it locks the thruster pod into place. We're gonna do the same thing with the other thruster pod. We've already built it here. Now we're just inserting it, kind of installing that. Tabs uh, 19A or 19B and, and uh, 18B. On the B side, you can pull in from the inside to lock those tabs in place real, real good. Now we can move on to the tail. And we're gonna pre-fold on that center line of the tail and really put a lot of pressure down on that. Don't be shy. And we're gonna pre-fold on all the score lines on these little triangular wedge pieces. Now our manufacturer made a little bit of an error here and forgot to put the score uh, and perforations on that score line. So. Uh, both sides are missing the perforations, which make it a lot easier to fold. So you really want to get in here and spend some time and put a lot of pressure on these triangular wedges. It's going to go together just fine. You just got to take your time and put the pressure on there. Remove the twin stick backing, fold the tail together. Insert tab 20 into slot 20. Really work that into its place and lock it all the way in. And then pinch the top of the tail to engage the twin stick pad. Fold in tab C at the bottom. And then we wanna fold tabs 21A and 22B at the front, fold those in, hold them in. And then what we wanna do is insert the 22 black tabs into the bottom of that slot there, the rear, rear section of the slot. And we wanna push the tail rearward to lock that tail in at the rear. And then we wanna drop 21 and 22 tabs at the front down and then come inside and we're gonna unfold the little A and B tabs to lock the tail into place. Next, we're gonna move on to the wing piece. This is the uh, most complicated part of the build. And our manufacturer did make an error here by not putting perforations where they were supposed to be on these tabs. So really make sure you apply a lot of pressure on the 23B and 23A tabs here, like you're seeing me do. Uh, it'll still go together just fine, uh, but it does make it a little bit more cumbersome for you to work on it. These little triangular wedge wedges here on those scores, you really wanna take your time, be careful about how you fold those because again, these are supposed to have perforations as well and our manufacturer made an error by not putting them there. We've corrected it for future production runs, but uh, we, uh, we do need you to spend a little more time just pressing these down and being gentle about how you fold them and, and push them over and really break these in by pressing hard once you get it all the way folded over like this. All right. All right, next we're gonna remove the twin stick backing from, uh, for the A side and we're gonna pinch and hold those flaps down, fold the wing over and then release those flaps and press them down onto their respective twin stick pads. Put a lot of pressure on them from the inside and the outside if you can. Again, on the B side, we're gonna fold the wing over while holding those tabs, pinching them and then release them onto the twin sticks and push them down. Now we're gonna move on to step 24. We're gonna insert tab 24A into the A slot there on the A side and use the table, press down on the table like this. It forces that tab into place. Do the same thing on the B side. What you wanna do is get it started like this into the slot and then push it down onto the table and really leverage that table to push down the tab into, the, into its slot, all right? Now we're gonna be removing the twin stick pad backing from the four twin stick pads 
above the wing slots on both sides of the body. And we'll start with the A side. Uh, the first thing we want to do is uh, break in the tabs on the wing, 25A and 26A. We can break in the B side as well while we're at it. It'll make it a little bit easier to uh, install the wing. All right, then we want to grab our body and we want to situate it in the center of the wing there and just slide it over so that we can insert tabs 25A and 26A into their respective slots. While the wing is flush against the, the side of the shuttle, secure those tabs to their twin sticks. Now we're gonna move on to the B side. Now this is really important. This is just a tricky bit here. Watch very carefully. You wanna bend the wing down over the edge of a table like I'm doing here. There is a wing. And that will enable you to fold these tabs and get them into their slots. And then you wanna reach in and pull on those while lifting up gently on the wing on the outside to lift it into place. And now you can, while holding the wing flush against the side of the shuttle, go ahead and lock down those tabs on the B side to their twin sticks to secure the wing. And if you got that done, congratulations, great job. Now we're gonna move on to the optional shuttle bay doors. Now there was a manufacturing defect here. Our manufacturer put the twin sticks on the wrong side. So they supplied us with a couple new twin stick pads in the kit that you can put on the right side where the graphics are on both of the shuttle bay doors. Now one thing you want to be mindful of when you install these is you want to break the score lines in well, but also look at that little slot uh, cut out for the tail section. That's going to tell you which way these go. Uh, and then you want to break in the scores, set the cargo door in place, kind of fold it a couple times to make sure it's right where you want it to be and everything's flush, and then you can stick it on. And again, there's that little slot there for the tail at the rear. You can see that right there. We're gonna move on to the other side. We're gonna kind of do the same thing. Really break that in, that hinge well. Break it in well. Set it where it needs to go, and then hold it in place and lock it down. Now, you can close and uh, lock the uh, cargo bay doors shut there with that little tab. All right, now we're gonna move on to the satellite with the uh, trick-or-treat bucket handle. Now, if you're gonna install the handle, which is optional, then you wanna go ahead and install these little Velcro strips and the strap, the handle strap, they are optional. So go ahead and install the uh, hook Velcro strips just like this underneath those two slots where the straps are gonna go. We're gonna take our strap, we're gonna run it through that slot, secure it to the Velcro, we're gonna kind of fold the body structure over a little bit. We're gonna take our strap and we're gonna uh, loop it over the top and we're gonna insert it into that slot there without any twists or bends in it. And then we're gonna secure it to the Velcro. All right, now we can pre-fold all the rest of the score lines on the satellite piece. Just go through all the pieces and pre-fold them. And then we want to insert tabs four into slots four to complete the body structure of the satellite. Just work them a little at a time until they're all locked into place. They are pretty, a, a pretty snug fit so that everything holds together well when the candy gets in there. All right, and then go on to uh, tabs 5A and B, insert those into their respective slots, and use the table if you need to to push down and help you out. Now we can do the, uh, the dome part, the top part of the satellite, just pre-fold and all the score lines. Kind of doing this out of order here, but that's okay. Step six is is next, but we'll do step seven first. Why not? Insert tab seven A into slot seven A, and then seven B into seven B. And that's the top of the satellite there. I just couldn't wait to get to it. You know. Now we'll go back to step six here. That's the top of the satellite. We'll install tab six A, B, and C in that order, and just work those in a little at a time until they're all snapped into place. They are pretty snug. Now we're gonna take our uh, solar panel wing and we're gonna situate it right over those tabs with the same order, 8A, 8B, and 8C. Then we're gonna take our top and we're gonna line up those tabs with those slots and push them all in. Be mindful of the solar panel wing and the groove uh, that's there for it on the top. Make sure you engage those tabs well. Now to get the strap over the top, you wanna fold down one of the solar panel wings and just Pull the strap over, and now your handle's good to go. Now, if you want to deploy your satellite uh, with the solar panels, you can just raise those solar panels, 
push down the little arms and lock them into the slots on the sides. There's your candy hatch there, and now you're good to go trick-or-treating. Now, if you want to fold down those satellite wings, uh, solar panel wings for trick-or-treating, you can just engage the little tabs into the slots at the bottom. Just fold those solar panel wings down, retract the arms, fold the solar panel down and lock it into place, and now you can hold on to it. There is your shuttle and satellite build by Suitables. We hope you enjoyed it. We hope you have a lot of fun building it, and we hope you have a lot of fun playing in it. And until next time. Oh, just looking good. We're coming up on a normal. Okay, all flight controllers going to go for retro. Go, I know. Go, right. go, control. Go, 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 into the ag, 47 degrees. Roger. We're an attitude hold. Attitude hold. Okay, at hold.